Channel 10, WPLG, Miami, Fort Lauderdale. This is Eyewitness News Night Beat, South Florida's number one late news. As coach of the Miami Dolphins, Don Shula's career has been one of unparalleled highs. But as the cheers from the days of glory fade, those highs have been replaced by some painful lows. And now it's the end of an era as the NFL's winningest coach prepares to call it quits. And tonight we've heard it from the coach himself. Don Shula is in fact stepping down. It is news that caught Dolphin fans everywhere by surprise. We begin our extensive team coverage with sports director Jimmy Cephalo. Jimmy? What has Don Shula meant to South Florida? Well, he made this community a community of champions, a point that is driven home every day. As we reported earlier, Eyewitness News has confirmed that Don Shula will announce his retirement at a news conference tomorrow afternoon. Why? I spoke to him earlier this evening, and he merely told me it was time to step down. He will remain with the club, but his responsibilities will change. At this time, we don't know what that will entail. What we do know is this. Don Shula is the winningest coach in the NFL, the only man to lead a team to an undefeated season. He has appeared in the Super Bowl in three different decades. In short, he has built the career of a legend. As late as last week, Coach Shula talked about returning for the final year of his contract. His close friend, George Young of the Giants, talked to Shula on Tuesday and Wednesday. He told us that the coach was already talking about next season. For some unknown reason, Shula had a change of heart. His decision to retire will have an impact on the league, fans, and his players. This is not a very happy day for me. Um, Coach Shula meant a lot to me because um, he's always been in my corner. Uh, when I've done the idiotic things, getting into fights and uh, challenging the NFL and doing all those things, although he would call me up to his office and straighten me up, uh, he was always fair. Uh, he was always in my corner. He was always uh, a big fan of mine, and he always respected me, and that's something that's important. And uh, He was always loyal to me. If there was ever a knock on uh, Don Chula or criticism is that uh, he was always very loyal to his uh, coaching staff and uh, uh, very seldom did you ever see a Don Chula coach get fired from with him. We're joined by uh, one of the coach's former uh, players of the undefeated team, Jim Mandich. Uh, Jim, I, I was surprised as the story began to unfold over the past couple of days. Are you as shocked as many of the other players are tonight? And I think shocked is the right word, Jimmy. Astonished, maybe it may be astounded. Uh, you know, when he said he was going to honor his contract, when he said he was going to come back next year, I fully expected that to happen. Um, this decision coming at this time, what do we read into it? One, he was simply tired after 33 NFL seasons, after 26 years with the, uh, years with the Dolphins, and this on his 66th birthday has finally decided it's time to enjoy the rest of my life? Uh, I don't think it was quite as simple as that, Jimmy. I, I, I think... Um, I think Wayne Tising and Don Shula had a meeting yesterday. I think the meeting came down like this. There was going to be a reformulation, a reconfiguration of his staff. I think the coach's uh, head coaching responsibilities would have been diluted. He was given a choice to either take that or find another role in the organization, and he will take another role in the organization. I think that's important to emphasize, that he will stay with the organization. And where that comes into play, I think, is that three-way power struggle between Wayne Heisinga, Don Shula and the people's choice as the next coach of, of the Miami Dolphins, and that's Jimmy Johnson. Do you think Jimmy Johnson will be coaching this team next year? If Don Shula is, he told me, and you tonight, you spoke to him as well, that he will be having a part in the organization. Will Jimmy Johnson step in and be a coach here? I, I think he's the overwhelming people's choice. And mind you, I say the people's choice. Uh, um, yes, I think he will. I mean, Jimmy Johnson is up here. The next candidate, I think, is way down here. Uh, you got to make a move rather quickly if you're Wayne Heisinger because the Senior Bowl is coming up. I'll just throw out another name, a compatibility name with Don Shula. I think if it was Don Shula's choice, he would name Marty Schottenheimer, the Kansas City Chiefs, as the next coach. I, I think you're absolutely right, Jim. I think Marty Schottenheimer would be a perfect choice for this organization, but he's still bound to the Chiefs by contract. Jim Mandich, thanks so much for joining us tonight. Thank uh, you, we'll see Jimmy. you again tomorrow.